Hello everyone and welcome to Factorio. In this episode I will be talking about these radar stations. Now there is an optimal way of placing these and I'll show you how to do that such that you get the complete coverage with the minimal amount of stations. Now the reason you might want to do that is because these draw a lot of power. 300 kilowatts to be exact and biters also seem to be attracted to them uh, in order to attack them so it's probably a good idea to keep them down so without any further ado let's get started okay so in order to understand how radars work we need to learn about chunks if we press f5 key we can bring up the debug menu Chunks are represented in Factorio by these uh, bold black lines, so this is one full chunk. Radars have a uh, diameter of 7 chunks, so the total area is a 7 by 7 square. If we turn off this and go into the map, we can see the uh, radar coverage by this big square right here another square right here and all of the other places. If we tap the ALT key we can bring up the pollution and the pollution will actually tell us where the chunks are so that is perfect we can actually count it up that way one two three four five six seven. So all we need to do to find out where to place our next radar is to look where does the other radar uh, coverage end and count three chunks and on the fourth chunk, that is where we place our next radar. So if we can uh, count up the chunks here, one, two, three, the fourth chunk falls right around here. So I will get there in my car and we will continue from there. So here I am, I made it to the center of right where we need to place our radar. If I look back at the map, as you can see, uh, our character actually has a uh, field of view that our, our radius is just one block less on each side left right top down so our field of view is only five blocks compared to the radars of seven blocks this can also be useful uh, in locating exactly where you need to place it, as you can just go uh, right up to the point of where you can see the, the the shadow area, right? The fog of war, so to speak. And as soon as you see that, you know you've made it. You know that you are in the correct chunk, right in the center of where you need to place the radar. So if we go ahead and choose our radar and place it right next to our pole to provide power and go back to the map, we can see now that the area is perfectly covered. One more thing to note is that I have power poles running between these two radar stations. So these power poles are, uh, these are the big power poles that I have right here, big electric poles, and they are spaced out at the maximum possible distance before breaking the wire. So if we count them up, one, two, three, four, five, six. However, in this vertical direction, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as you can see, it's not exactly reliable, um, but you can sort of approximate where your radar stations could be by counting other six or seven, and then looking at the map to see that one little area that is one chunk where uh, you're not covered. All right, guys, so that is really it super easy to figure out where you need to place the radars. I usually actually place them along my railroad tracks because that is actually the place that I round my big power poles. So if you want actually to see a uh, train uh, tutorial where I actually cover how do I build my tracks, please check that out in uh, the video description below. Other than that, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing if you already haven't. That's all from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.